Now go to the door and stay there till we call. Was it not yesterday we spoke together? It was, sir, please, Your Highness. Well, then, now, have you considered of my speeches? Know that it was he in the times past who held you so under fortune who you thought had been our innocent self. This I made good to you at our last conference. Passed in probation with you how you were born in hand, how crossed the instruments, who wrought with them, and all things else which might to half a soul and to a notion crazed say, thus did Banquo. You made it known to us. I did, sir. And went further which is now our point of second meeting. Do you find your patience so predominant in your nature that you can let this go? Are you so gospel to pray for this good man and for his issue, whose heavy hand hath bowed you to the grave and beggared yours forever? We are men, my liege. Aye, then the catalogue, you go for men. As hounds and greyhounds, mongrels, spaniels, curs, shuffs, water rugs, and demi wolves are clapped all by the name of dogs. The valued file distinguishes the swift, the slow, the subtle, the housekeeper, the hunter, every one according to that gift which bounteous nature hath in him closed, whereby he does receive particular addition from the bill that writes them all alike. And so of men. Huh? No. If you have a station in the file, not in the worst rank of manhood, say it, and I will put that business in your bosoms whose execution takes your enemy off. I am one, my liege, whom the vile blows and buffets of the world have so incensed that I'm reckless what I do to spite the world. No, another. Both of you know Banquo was your enemy. Well, True, my lord. So is he mine. And in such bloody distance that every minute of his being thrusts against my nearest of life. And though I could with barefaced power sweep him from my sight and bid my will avouch it, Yet I must not, for certain friends who are both his and mine, whose loves I may not drop, but wail his fall, who I myself struck at. Huh. And thence it is that I, to your assistance, do make love, masking the business from the common eye for sundry weighty reasons. We will, my lord, perform what you command us. Though our lives your spirits shine through you. Within this hour, at most, I will acquaint you where to plant yourselves, advise you of the perfect spy of the time, the moment on it, for it must be done tonight, and something from the palace, always thought that I require a clearness. And with him to leave no rubs nor botches in the work, Fleance, his son, who keeps him company, whose absence is no less material to me than is his father's, must embrace the fate of that dark hour, resolve yourselves apart. I'll come to you anon. We are resolved, my lord. I'll call upon you straight. It is concluded. Abide within. Banquo, thy soul's flight, if it find heaven, must find it out tonight. <laughs> 